this is a business continuity planning webinar. Um, technically, uh, disaster recovery is uh, part of uh, um, business continuity planning, uh, but we've addressed that in a previous email um, webinar. It is available online for you to view. And uh, so we're going to cover part one. We covered part two first, which seemed a little odd, but we're going to go into part one. Uh, and we're going to touch on things that you need to consider uh, when creating a business continuity plan. So what is business continuity planning? So I looked it up, and I got this uh, definition from the Journal of Applied Management Studies. Uh, uh, planning which identifies the organization's exposure to internal and external threats and thin exercises, and I said, oh my God. Uh, basically, in layman's terms, it's an ongoing process. Let me stress ongoing. Uh, to ensure that necessary steps are regularly taken to identify probable accidents, disasters, emergencies, and or threats. So even simpler, business continuity uh, is, is an individual plan uh, catered around your business requirements uh, to ensure that data is available. Maybe not all of the data, uh, maybe only, only your payroll or only your accounting system, or it might encompass all, all factions of your data processing, accounting, MRP, uh, Word documents, uh, SharePoint. Uh, that's a business decision that you're going to have to make uh, as part of the uh, business plan or continuity plan. Uh, it's broken up uh, basically when you start this, uh, the, you start from planning through enactment and not only enactment, but maintenance as well. Right? Uh, the, the major groups are analysis, solution design, implementation, testing, and maintenance. And we're going to touch on each of these groups. Okay? Analysis. What's your objective? Right? Part one, local or global business continuance. Part two, disaster recovery. We're going to dwell on part one, local or global business continuance or contingency planning. Okay. Our focus is going to be uh, the SMBs, small to medium businesses, and the lower tiers of the SMB market. Uh, we're going to make suggestions. We're going to show how our products and features uh, play into uh, this planning. Uh, so we, we couldn't do justice within an hour's period to cover everything that was available from uh, SMB through uh, enterprise market arena. And the, the hardware changes and, and requirements are much greater uh, with a broader spectrum. So we're going to focus a little bit here. First, here are the items you need to plan for. You're going to have uh, internal threats. They're going to be sabotage. Uh, nice word for disgruntled employee. Um, maybe an external contractor, um, but there is unfortunately the possibility that uh, someone's going to develop the mindset of, well, I'm going to get these SOBs before I go. You need to plan for that. Facility mishap. Uh, that's a broad spectrum, but uh, uh, power outages, uh, you know, uh, cooling systems go down, uh, those types of things. Human mistakes, probably the number one problem. Uh, people just make mistakes. They delete files. Uh, they changed an entire database. They didn't have it backed up. Uh, the human factor is, uh, is one of your highest risk areas, uh, as well as uh, hardware failure. So these are items that you can plan for within your facility uh, that you can look at that happen internally. And that this would extend to an internal focus. Let's say that you have a remote office. Again, the focus is on uh, internals within that facility. So you can have multiple facilities, but you want to look at each of those uh, as an as a internal type of object. Next, we have uh, external things. We have disasters. Right? We have fires. We have floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes. Um, those are outside of your uh, your jurisdiction. They're going to happen. Um, so you need to take into account, what do I do? How do I ensure business continuity uh, in the event of a hurricane? And you might find that, you know what, 
all things considered, if my building is subject to severe winds, loss of power, flooding, and everything else, business uh, continuity or keeping your systems up and available might not be important. Uh, your first priority is to get your building restored, power up, people back in the offices and so forth. Uh, so you don't have to provide continual data availability. Uh, so it, it would be a restore and repair operation uh, afterwards. So again, part of the planning process. It's, it's not all about, uh, the, while this webinar is focused on keeping data available so you continue uh, business functions, you might find that that's not your number one priority.